unit hydrograph for various uh, durations. DH hours unit hydrograph is used for the construction of uh, DH hours uh, strong hydrograph. Have some tolerance that is 20 to 25 percent. Uh, for example, we are having 8 hours unit hydrograph. By using that 8 hours unit hydrograph, we are going to construct the storm hydrograph of 6 hours as well as 10 hours. But here, that effective duration is uh, different. In case of 8 hours unit hydrograph, the effective duration is uh, 8 hours. We are going to construct the storm hydrograph of 6 hours. That effective duration is 6 hours. We are going to construct the uh, storm hydrograph of 10 hours. That effective duration is 10 hours. So effective duration varies from one, one duration to another one, but run of depth is one centimeter. Anyhow, for the construction of any hydraulic structures uh, or for the estimation of run of predictions, uh, this type of tolerance uh, is not gives accurate values. So that we can use uh, for the construction of a strong hydrograph, definitely take uh, same unit duration of the unit uh, hydrograph. We want to construct 6 hours wood hydrograph for the Wamsdara River and also construct 9 hours wood hydrograph for the Wamsdara River and also construct 12 hours wood hydrograph for the Wamsdara River. If raw material available, that means base period as well as corresponding discharges are available, okay, we can construct, we can prepare the wood hydrographs 3 hours, 6 hours, 9 hours, 12 hours like that. But the gauge data is not possible for the construction of required number of unit hydrographs. In this case, we can use, by using D hours unit duration, can be constructed by 2D hours unit hydrograph, 3D hours unit hydrograph. Right. Suppose we are having D hours unit hydrograph. D hours unit hydrograph means 3 hours unit hydrograph. Example. We want to construct 2D hours unit hydrograph, means 6 hours unit hydrograph. 3D hours unit hydrograph, 9 hours unit hydrograph. That means we are having 3 hours unit hydrograph, we are going to construct 6 hours unit hydrograph and 3 hours unit hydrograph. It represents uh, same integral multiple, only possible this by using this technique. So here how to construct the uh, one D, 2D hours unit hydrograph by using the uh, D hours unit hydrograph. This is the procedure here. And here we know the unit hydrograph ordinates, for example, D hours unit hydrograph ordinates, that is base period as well as uh, discharge ordinates. Then used, uh, using that unit hydrograph ordinates, for example, uh, please see the board here. Uh, this is the, this line represents uh, D hours unit hydrograph. This is the given data. They have given only only D hours unit hydrograph. We want to construct uh, 2D hours unit hydrograph, 3D hours unit hydrograph, 4D hours unit hydrograph based on our requirement. Here, once you draw the D hours unit hydrograph like this, this represents 1 centimeter depth of direct runoff corresponding base period. Right? Then you are going to construct another unit hydrograph like this that should be shifted by same unit duration d hours unit duration here the our given unit hydrograph is d hours unit duration here d hours unit duration space given here then we are going to construct the another same unit hydrograph like this right here we have two unit hydrographs this is one unit hydrograph, this is the another unit hydrograph. This unit hydrograph represents one centimeter direct runoff depth corresponding ordinates. This unit hydrograph represents uh, one centimeter runoff depth uh, and the corresponding ordinates. Here, once you observe here, the base period of the first unit hydrograph is uh, up to this. Right? The second unit hydrograph base period is increased. That is the unit duration, d hours unit duration, because here have taken d hours, lagged by d hours unit duration, or shifted by t, d hours unit duration, here also base period also increased by d hours unit duration. This is one observation. And here, this is one unit hydrograph, this is another unit hydrograph. The sum of these two unit hydrographs, this is the combination of two unit hydrographs. 
this is not uh, 2d hours unit hydrograph this is the this is 1 cm run of depth this is 1 cm run of depth this represents uh, 2 cm run of depth uh, direct run of ordinates this is the 2 cm run of depth direct run of ordinates that is not uh, the 1 1 cm uh, unit hydrograph, 1 cm unit hydrograph, this is not 2 cm unit hydrograph because unit hydrograph represents only 1 cm depth. Here, this is the 2 cm depth means uh, 2 cm depth direct run of uh, ordinates. This is, yes, we want to construct the 2D hours unit hydrograph. Right, we know already we discussed about how to construct the unit hydrograph, unit hydrograph equal to Ordinates of direct run of divided by direct run of depth. That is the formula already we discussed. Here we have we have these are the ordinates of uh, direct run of of uh, two centimeter uh, direct run of depth. So ordinates of direct run of divided by direct run of depth is two centimeters. This is one centimeter. This is one centimeter divided by two centimeter. We have the ordinates of uh, 2 hours unit uh, hydrograph. This is the 2 hours uh, unit hydrograph. This is the 2 cm direct run of depth uh, ordinates. Yes, uh, this is one problem. Here, construct a 4 hours uh, given 4 hours unit hydrograph, construct 8 hours unit hydrograph, and 12 hours unit hydrograph. Right. So, we now already we discussed how to construct the unit hydrograph by given unit hydrograph so here they have given uh, 4 hours unit hydrograph these are the base period this is the base period 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 like that here the time interval is uh, 2 hours time interval is uh, 2 hours right these are the this, these are the base period and also they have given uh, 4 hours unit hydrograph they have given only 4 hours unit hydrograph ordinates. By using that we are going to construct 8 hours unit hydrograph and 12 hours unit hydrograph. First of all we are going to construct the 8 hours unit hydrograph because here same integral multiple. Here 4, 8 are the same integral. That's why for this is possible. 8 hours, 4 hours unit hydrograph can be used for the construction of 8 hours unit hydrograph. Right? Here, what we can do here, already we discussed earlier, right, the unit hydrograph, this is a given unit hydrograph, another column, this is also unit hydrograph that is shifted by unit duration, unit duration means 4 hours, they have given 4 hours unit hydrograph, we are also taken here 4 hours spacing are shifted are lagged by 4 hours so same values are produced here like that these are the shifted 4 hours unit hydrograph this is 1 cm unit hydrograph 1 cm depth direct run of depth unit hydrograph this is also 1 cm direct run of depth unit hydrograph so here the combination of these two these are the this is one unit hydrograph this is another unit hydrograph sum of these two these are the 2 cm depth, direct run of depth ordinates. Then we want to construct the 8 hours unit hydrograph. Right, 8 hours unit hydrograph means as per uh, formula, ordinates of unit hydrograph equal to, here we want to construct the 8 hours unit hydrograph equal to, ordinates of direct run of ordinates, these are the direct run of ordinates, 0. Direct run of depth, you know, that is 2 cm, this is 1 cm, this is another, another cm. 0 by 2 we have 2 uh, 12.52 2 divided by 2 6.26 21.32 divided by 2 we have 10.66 like that uh, these are the values of uh, 8 hours uh, unit hydrograph right they have given 4 hours unit hydrograph here we constructed 8 hours unit hydrograph next uh, they asked that 8 hours and 12 hours unit hydrograph they required here you can use same methodology whatever you used earlier. Here this, these are the base periods and say a time interval 2 hours and this is the given unit hydrograph. 
we want to construct the 12 hours meals, 4 hours lagged by first one and another 4 hours lagged by another one, then we have the 12 hours unit of hydrograph. Here, this is the given unit hydrograph, they have given where effective duration is equal to 4 hours or unit duration is equal to 4 hours, then lagged by 4 hours, right? these are the 4 hour 1 centimeter depth uh, 4 our effect rate for unit hydrograph nets. This is the another one we want to 12 hours uh, unit hydrograph. Construction of 12 hours unit hydrograph so that uh, this is 4 hours, this is another 4 hours, this is the another 4 hours, this is lagged by again 4. This is 4 hours like this and another one is the lagged by 8 hours. This is the 8 hours like this. Same values is joined here. This is 1 cm depth unit hydrograph. This is 1 cm hydrograph. This is 1 cm hydrograph. 1, 1, 1. These are the values of some of these three columns. Horizontal sum of these three columns. Here this represents uh, 3 cm, 1 cm, 1 cm, 1 cm, 3 cm direct run of ordinates. This is not 12 hours unit hydrograph. 3 hours direct run of uh, depth ordinates. Then we want to construct the unit hydrograph formula. Unit hydrograph is equal to direct run of ordinates. These are the direct run of ordinates of uh, divided by direct run of depth 3 cm divided by 3. 0 by 3 equal to 0. 12.52 divided by 3 is equal to this one. 21.32 divided by 3 is equal to this one. Like that. Uh, these are the values of the 12 hours uh, unit uh, hydrograph. This is the procedure. Construction of unit hydrograph by using the unit hydrograph. Now we are going to discuss about uh, S hydrograph. Before going to discuss about S hydrograph, first of all we are going to discuss about what are the advantages, what is the purpose, what is the need of uh, S hydrograph. Already we discussed about unit hydrograph. We have one unit hydrograph on one particular catchment area. By using that unit hydrograph we are going to construct strong hydrograph for same unit duration. Right here, and also we learned one more point, if we are having 4 hours unit hydrograph, by using that 4 hours unit hydrograph, we are going to construct 8, eight hours strong hydrograph and also 12 hours strong hydrograph. Now, we want to construct 2 hours unit hydrograph, we are having 4 hours unit hydrograph. This is not possible by using the earlier techniques. Here, available unit hydrograph is 4 hours, required unit hydrograph is 2 hours, that is the desired unit hydrograph unit duration is less than the available unit duration. So in this condition, earlier techniques are not possible. So we are going to discuss about S hydrograph. S hydrograph constructs, gives the construction of any unit hydrographs, any strong hydrographs that may be available unit hydrograph is 4 hours, we are going to construct the 8 hours unit hydrograph or going to construct the 2 hours unit hydrograph by using the S curve technique. Here, what is S curve? S hydrograph or S curve is the curve. It produces a continuous effective rainfall at a constant rate for infinity period. Continuous effective rainfall at a constant rate, infinity period. Like, it is a continuous raising curve in the form of letter S till equilibrium is reached. Continuous raising curve in the form of letter S till equilibrium is reached. What is equilibrium here? At the time of equilibrium, what is happening? The X quantity of rainfall falling on a ground surface that x quantity can be diverted into the direct runoff. Yes, here, based on that statement, it will represent a constant rate of uh, continuous effective rainfall at the time of equilibrium. Constant rate of continuous effective rainfall that is represented by R0. Constant rate of uh, continuous effective rainfall R0 centimeter per hour. And also, at the rate of equilibrium, have some discharge that is, uh, uh, as far as represents the uh, run of discharge, we have one formula. That is equal to Q is equal to A into 100 into 100 into R0. Here, these are multiplied here because the area is in hectares. 
divided by R0, this is centimeter per hour, A R0 divided by 36 cubits is the discharge at the time of uh, equilibrium. This discharge, this is the discharge in area is in uh, hectares. Here the area is in square kilometers, area is in square kilometers. The discharge formula at the equilibrium stage equal to 2.778 AR0. Here R0 is the constant rate of continuous effective rainfall and R0 equal to 1 by T0. T0 is the unit duration of the given unit hydrograph. Right here, once you see the board, uh, 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 this is the horizontal axis time interval, that is the base period, these are the discharges. Here summation of uh, different unit hydrographs uh, moves like this, this is uh, just like as uh, already I told you. So here reaches the equilibrium discharge. And the equilibrium discharge, this is the S curve. Here the discharge formula, you know that is equal to 2.778 A R0. A is in square kilometers. Here this depth, in case of unit hydrograph, the depth is equal to 1 centimeter. But here, Yes, hydrograph, the depth R0 is equal to 1 by T0. T0 is the given unit hydrograph for effective duration. Right. So here this is the construction of uh, S hydrograph. First of all, uh, S hydrograph or S curve is constructed uh, by adding together number of uh, unit hydrographs of a unit duration spaced at a unit duration T0. Here, once you see the board, here this is the unit hydrograph. This is one unit hydrograph. As a hydrograph is constructed uh, adding number of unit hydrographs. This is one unit hydrograph. This is the another unit hydrograph that uh, spacing is given by given unit duration. Suppose they have given 6 hours unit hydrograph. So this is the 6 hours unit hydrograph. And uh, draw another 6 hours unit hydrograph. And the spacing is given by 6 hours here. Space at a unit time duration. That is 6 hours unit. Right? And also added one more unit hydrograph. Like one more unit hydrograph. One more unit hydrograph. Like that. How much this is extended means. Uh, the number of uh, unit hydrographs. Uh, added for the construction of S hydrograph is uh, base period. So here you know the base period. So this point to this point is the base period. By base period as per diagram is equal to 42 hours. 42 hours base period. Base period divided by unit duration. That means given unit hydrograph unit duration. Here 6 hours unit hydrograph they have given. 42 divided by 6 equal to 7. Right, so now we are going to add seven unit hydrograph ordinates. So then only we have the S hydrograph ordinate, right? Like that here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then this is the equilibrium discharge here. This is the formula here. So here they have given 72, 72 base period. How much that S curve should be extended? Here 72 or 42 minus unit duration, unit duration is equal to 6, 42 minus 6 equal to 36, right? Up to 36 uh, spacing at, at the time of 36 hours that the reaches the equilibrium discharge. That means that equilibrium discharge means the quantity of uh, x quantity of rainfall falling on the ground surface must be equal to the direct runoff. That is possible at uh, 36 hours. Just you see the example problem here. Right? These are the alternates. These are the uh, base period. These are the alternates of uh, unit hydrograph. Right? They have given only one unit hydrograph. Unit hydrograph means base period and uh, discharge alternates for a given unit duration. Here they have given uh, 6 hours unit duration. These are the ordinates of uh, 6 hours unit duration. By using these two columns, these two readings, we are going to construct the S curve. Right? Here, 6 hours unit duration they have given. So based on the 6 hours unit duration, you are going to construct another unit hydrograph here. Added another unit hydrograph here. 6 hours unit duration, same value 0. 9, 
20 like that same values substituted here this is one unit hydrograph so here how many hours the base period uh, equal to 42 hours so 42 divided by 6 uh, we have 7 unit hydrograph like that this is one unit hydrograph you construct another unit hydrograph spaced by 6 hours unit duration and construct another unit hydrograph another unit hydrograph like that 7 unit hydrograph you are going to construct here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 including the given unit hydrograph then you can add the horizontally these 7 unit hydrograph for ordinates here 0, 9, 20 plus 0, 20, 35 plus 9, 44, 49, 20, 0, 69 like that you are going to horizontally add all these values so these are the ordinates of S curve right here what is happening the discharge at uh, here 141 meter cube per second uh, and here 144, 144, 144. This indicates that the equal premium discharge is reached at uh, 36 hours. I told you the equal premium discharge reached is that is 42 hours base period minus uh, unit duration. 42 minus uh, 6 equal to 36 hours. Here 36 hours. So, uh, we have that is the equal to the discharge that is equal to 144 and this is the uh, problem uh, uh, determined problem procedure right this is the procedure for the construction of uh, yes hydrograph then uh, construction of uh, uh, unit hydrograph by using available unit hydrograph this is already we discussed uh, here what is happening so here we want to construct the unit hydrograph of uh, 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 less duration, shorter or longer period of the given unit uh, duration. Here we are going to use uh, S curve technique. Right here, so once you see the board here, already we know how to construct the S curve. This is the S curve. This is the S curve. Right here, this is the equilibrium discharge 144 cubics. Already we solved the problem earlier. So by using this S curve, we are going to construct, they have given 6 hours unit hydrograph, they want to construct 3 hours unit hydrograph, then we should follow the procedure, here we are going to construct another S curve that is lagged by given duration, that is lagged by required unit duration of the hydrograph or desired unit duration of the hydrograph, this is the lagged S curve. Right? Then, how to construct the desired unit hydrograph is? So, here the difference between this is one S curve, this is another S curve. Once you see the, uh, the ordinates of 4 hours uh, unit hydrograph is given and catchment area of 300 uh, square kilometers and uh, time interval of 1 hour. These are the ordinates of unit hydrograph of 4 hours. 636, 66, 91, 106, 93 and uh, 1.5 respectively obtain the 3 hours unit hydrograph here they have given 4 hours unit hydrograph they want to construct uh, 3 hours unit hydrograph at this situation we should use uh, yes hydrograph technique right here so we know how to construct the S hydrograph. They have given a four hours unit hydrograph. They want to construct a three hours unit hydrograph. So in this case, we go to construct first S curve, then go to construct the three hours unit hydrograph. So these are the S curve. How to construct S curve? I already I told you. These are the ordinates of S curve of the four hours unit duration, right? S curve ordinates. We want to construct the 3 hours unit hydrograph. For 3 hours unit hydrograph, so here 0 hour, 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hour unit hydrograph. So here corresponding to 3 hour, we are going to draw or lagged or shifted another S curve at 3 hours duration because we need 3 hours unit hydrograph. So this can be lagged by at 3 hours spacing. So 0, 6, 36 like that uh, these are the ordinates of uh, S curve uh, shifted by 3 hours. Then we have these two differences. This is the S curve, this is the lagged S curve. The difference between these two is equal to 6. So the difference between these two, difference between these two is equal to 0, 
six, thirty six, sixty six, ninety one minus six equal to eighty five. These are the difference values that is the S curve and the land S curve. Here, this is the formula. Here, the delta y represents the difference between the S curve and the land S curve divided by R zero into T zero. This gives the ordinates of required unit hydrograph. Here, R zero is equal to you know R zero equal to one by unit duration. That is given unit hydrograph unit duration. That is capital T zero. And T zero is the required unit hydrograph for unit duration. Finally, this is the formula for the construction of ordinates of designed unit hydrograph for delta y into T zero by T zero. Here, delta y is the difference between the S hydrograph and land S hydrograph. T is the given unit hydrograph duration. T zero is the designed unit hydrograph for duration. By using that formula. Here, this, 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 these values are the delta y because the difference between these two uh, S hydrographs. Then this is the construction of uh, three hours unit hydrograph. Here, this difference uh, zero into given unit hydrograph for uh, unit duration is equal to four hours divided by three. This is the value, right? Here, six difference into four divided by three. This is the value. 36 into 4 divided by 3. This is the value. Like that, these are the ordinates of 6 hours unit hydrograph. Here, by using 4 hours unit hydrograph, given unit hydrograph is 4 hours, but we constructed here 3 hours unit hydrograph by using the yes curve technique. One more point here: if they want to construct here, they have given. They have given interval time interval equal to one hour. Suppose they are going to give four hours. Four hour time interval. This is zero. This is zero. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, like that. They want to construct uh, two hours unit hydrograph. Here they have given four hours unit hydrograph. They want to construct uh, two hours unit hydrograph. Here the time interval is not given uh, one hour. They have given four hours. So we are not having two hours spacing there, two hours intervals there. Then what we have to do first uh, by given interval corresponding ordinates, you are going to draw on a paper drawing, right? Then corresponding two hours time, what is the discharge? Order? You know the four hours discharge ordinates, eight hours discharge ordinates, twelve hours discharge ordinates, like that sixteen hours discharge ordinates. You want to construct two hours, six hours. 10 hours and 14 hours. Then you construct the. You are going to estimate the values of corresponding the in between values. Then only you are going to construct the two hours unit hydrograph. If they have given time interval one hour, no problem. If they have not given. You are going to prepare the time interval by using that technique.